Earlier this year, the water crisis in Cape Town, South Africa was at the forefront of international news, but the timeline of this crisis extends years back and is still going on today. A 1990 headline in the Cape Times said the city would run out of water in 17 years, based on a Water Research Commission study at the time. Though Cape Town has been experiencing a devastating drought, the exponential population growth played a huge role leading up to the water crisis. From 1995 to 2018, Cape Town's population grew by 79%, massively increasing the demand for water while the supply was running low. 2007, the Department of Water and Sanitation issued a warning about potential shortages for the city's water supply. In 2014, the city's dams were at 71.9% capacity, but in just one year, it had declined to nearly 50%. Two years later, in 2016, the city decided to implement level two water restrictions, and it was quickly elevated to level three on November 1st, 2016. This meant that no sprinklers or hoses could be used in residential areas, but the threat was still looming. Cape Town began to plan for emergency water sources, beginning the construction of three major desalinization plants. By the end of the dry season in May 2017, the storage and dams were less than 10% of their usable capacity, and it was announced that Cape Town was in its worst drought since 1933. On June 1st of 2017, level four water restrictions were put in place, limiting the usage of water to 100 liters per person per day. In just three months, the city imposed level five water restrictions. This meant that starting September 3rd, 2017, each household could only use 50 liters of municipal water per day. And to put this in perspective, the average American's eight minute shower uses 65.1 liters of water. By New Year's Eve of 2018, Level 6 water restrictions had been implemented, and just a few weeks later, Day Zero was announced. Projected to take place on April 21, 2018, this would be the day that municipal water supplies would largely be shut off, and residents would have to rely on 140 water collection points around the city to collect a daily water ration of 25 liters per person per day. In February, a scary turn of events changed the date of Day Zero from April 21st to April 16th. The reality of day zero caused Cape Tonians to significantly reduce their water use, and by March, the total daily consumption for the city was down to 511 million liters per day, and Cape Town had hit its rainy season. Day zero was then moved to May 11th, then June 4th, and then to July 9th. And finally, on June 28th, day zero was postponed indefinitely. Although Cape Town has slowly come out of their drought and successfully reduced their water consumption, they're not out of it yet. They have continued to remain in level six water restrictions to prevent slipping into another crisis. And today, day zero stands at an unnamed date in 2019.